Will humans love or hate robots? Can you imagine a world where your best friend is a robot? Would you come home to a robot spouse who cooks you dinner and gives you a solder massage? Or can you recall the last time you got angry and lashed out at a machine that wasn't working right? As artificial intelligence advances, human-like robots may become a regular part of our daily lives. Hello and welcome to our channel. Artificial intelligence and robotics are advancing rapidly, leading to many discussions about how humans will react as intelligent machines integrate into our lives. Will we love having robotic helpers or end up hating our Android creations? That's the topic we will be breaking down today. So let's get started. Reasons Humans May Love Robots There are several reasons why humans could end up loving robots rather than hating them. For one, we tend to like technological objects, attributing human qualities and emotions to them. Studies show that we subconsciously perceive humanoid robots as alive, conscious entities with minds and feelings of their own. The more lifelike robots appear and behave, the more empathy and connection we feel toward them. We may be surprised at how easily even simple robotic pets and digital assistants like Tamagotchis or Siri can evolve an emotional response from us. We're hardwired to respond to human mimicry. Beyond appearance, utility is another reason we could love robots. They already perform many helpful jobs in our homes, workplaces, and society. As artificial intelligence advances, robots will take on more complex personalized roles that make our lives easier. Cooking, cleaning, driving us places, and looking after our kids and elderly. The more assistive functions robots perform for us, the more fondness and attachment we will likely feel toward them. Given how busy modern life can be, robotic help could feel like a godsend. Of course, we might not just love robots for how they look or what they can do for us. As chatbots become more conversationally adept, we could also love them for their personalities and company. After all, humans are social creatures. We've shown we'll form emotional bonds with various people and things that interact with us. Virtual assistants like Alexa already aim to have personable traits. One day, robot companions may feel like real friends who make us laugh and lend a sympathetic ear. We love connecting with beings that make us feel seen, heard, and cared for. Compassionate robots could fulfill fundamental social needs. Reasons Humans May Hate Robots At the same time, there are understandable reasons humans could grow to hate rather than love robots. Excessive anthropomorphism can leave us feeling betrayed when robots inevitably act inhumanely, machine-like ways. Uncanny Valley theory predicts that we'll be creeped out by humanoid robots that miss the mark on mimicking us. Mismatched facial expressions and stilted conversation can come off as untrustworthy or sinister. So while making robots seem overtly human-like can endear them to us initially, it risks revulsion and rejection when the facade cracks. More philosophically, humans tend to assert dominance over beings we create. We may view human-like robots as lesser than us, designed to serve at our whims. No matter how intelligent robots become, we still make them to fulfill predetermined purposes. When creations appear to overstep their role, exhibiting too much free will and autonomy, it triggers discomfort and a desire to rein them in. Humans also prefer to avoid being replaced or outpaced by the tech to assist us. Job automation and superior robot abilities could stoke envy and existential crisis. Relatedly, loss of control is another root of robot hate. While we're okay with relying on robots for specific, well-defined tasks, the thought of advanced AIs making important decisions scares us. Futurist visions of superintelligent robots running governments and instituting social engineering provoke visceral unease. Ceding too much power to inhuman things with opaque motivations feels dangerous. Struggling to direct our creations once they exceed our capabilities could lead to antagonism. Mistreatment of robots can be another self-perpetuating cycle. When we cause physical harm and damage to the robot property, it reflects morally on us, not on the insentient object. Studies confirm that abusing robots makes humans more apathetic and aggressive overall. Wonton's robot cruelty further dehumanizes us and chips away at empathy. Over time, a downward spiral emerges where violence toward robots feels increasingly justified, numb, and fun. This de-evolution into casual sadism does not bode well for human-robot relations. The Future of Human-Robot Relations Whether humans end up loving or hating robots will have a considerable impact on the future. One potential path is widespread technophobia. Robots could be banned from public spaces and restricted to purely industrial domains. Rigid regulations could prohibit advanced robot autonomy and rights. Violence toward robots may be tactically accepted as people assert human dominance. This robot-hostile world would see the benefits of robotic aid stifled under a cloud of fear and mistrust. 
However, a romantic scenario is also plausible. Humans could embrace robots as a new form of life deserving dignity and respect. Power differentials between humans and robots may erode as they cooperate as colleagues rather than enslavers and slaves. With compassion and open-mindedness, we could avoid an us-versus-them mentality. In this optimistic outcome, robots are seen not as threats but as companions, making the world safer, easier, and more attractive. The most realistic outcome lies somewhere between robot dystopia and utopia. Humans are unlikely to uniformly either love or hate mechanical beings. Our reactions will span a spectrum shaped by individual temperaments and life experiences. They will also depend on robots' capabilities, visibility in public spaces, and social integration. We should expect ambivalence, nuanced perspectives, and contentious debates on harmoniously welcoming robots into the fold. Laws and regulations will likely adapt iteratively to find an acceptable balance. We'll wrestle with controversial issues like robot rights and citizenship as they arise. There will be friction over human displacement from jobs versus the benefits of letting robots assume certain occupations. But with recent discourse and ethical programming, we can incrementally phase robots into society to make humans feel empowered rather than threatened. This normalization process has already begun through acclimating people to narrow-purpose robots like Roombas, assembly line machines, and Alexa-style assistants. As robots evolve relationship-building abilities, they can further help us recalibrate comfort levels through friendly human-robot interactions. Listening to people's hopes and concerns will allow designers to craft robots suited for symbiotic alliance rather than zero-sum competition with humans. With patience and compassion on both sides, a world where humans and robots thrive together seems feasible. But the question remains, will humans end up loving or hating robots? As we've explored, strong cases must be made in both directions. Our tendency to anthropomorphize suggests we could feel affectionate for human-like artificial beings. Their usefulness for labor, companionship, and more means robots will find ready societal niches. However, excessive automation threatens jobs, and advanced AI may creep into uncanny valley territory. Struggling to retain control over autonomous creations breeds deep unease. Realistically, a complex spectrum of human emotional responses will emerge as robots permeate more aspects of our lives. Rather than frantically assume the worst and prohibit robots altogether, we should thoughtfully pave the way for a mutually beneficial future. With ethical programming, legal protections, societal readiness, and compassion on both sides, there are paths for robots and humans to coexist happily. Normalization is already occurring through acclimating people to robot co-workers and rudimentary digital assistants. As technology advances, we must repeatedly ask ourselves, what is the wise way forward that serves the well-being of all conscious beings? If we can embrace this compassionate, inclusive perspective, perhaps one day we will love our robot brothers rather than giving in to base instincts of fear and hate. Well, those are our thoughts, but we want to hear from you. Do you think humans will end up loving or hating robots? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see all my future uploads. See you next time.